Hey, welcome to my 2019 wrap up. As most of you know, it was actually my first year on YouTube, so it's been quite a journey. Looking back at some of my videos that I put out toward the beginning of the year, they were a little rough. Very rough. They, uh, they contain some of my favorite favorite moments of the year and some of my favorite finds. So what I'd like to do now, since we're a little too frozen to dig to give you any fresh new ideas here, I'd like to go back through and share with you my top 10 finds for the year. There were actually quite a few of them that I really enjoyed this year, so whittling this down was a little difficult. However, I think that we finally have narrowed this down to a uh, pretty, pretty entertaining little bit. Now, some of these videos I'm going to show you are from beginning of the year, so please excuse some of the videography. It wasn't all that great. But we're going to go ahead and start with my first one. Uh, it was actually my first Indian head. Let's just cut to the clip, and uh, we'll see you there. I think, all right. Uh, I think that's an Indian. I have a, I have a penny here. Let's see what we got. Oh. So, we have it is an Indian his first Indian finally got an Indian <laughs> man it's about time 18 let's see 1886 oh my there you go finally got an Indian all right all right it is mail call time I won a giveaway with Silver Chimp I was the first one to comment on one of his videos so he uh, he contacted me to send me a package. And it looks to me like I finally got that package in the mail. So now it is time to open this thing up and see what's in here. All right. Let's see here. Oh, what do we got? It says Tom, thanks for watching the live stream. Appreciate the support, Silver Champ. Absolutely, buddy. It was fun to watch you. A lot of a lot of fun that we uh, that you did all that. So it looks like uh, I noticed there's a little little piece inside of here. It looks like I got a got a got a banana. <laughs> definitely definitely from the silver chimp. And it looks like sounds like I got a whole lot more in here too. <laughs> I appreciate it, buddy. Ooh, check that out. That's a pretty nice giveaway. I really appreciate that. So I'm actually. Surprisingly, uh, I've actually been looking for a smaller carry knife to take out with me. Uh, right now I use a way too big of a knife and it actually tends to get in the way. So this was actually perfect timing. I really appreciate it. All right, I will uh, get back on with the rest of the video. Thank you so much, Silver Chimp, for this. I truly appreciate it. So we will see you soon. As every detectorist knows, some of the favorite moments that you have in your detecting career is absolutely some of your first. You know, a lot of us remember our first wheat penny, our first silver. You know, there's, 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 en there's an endless number of first out there in this hobby. So, but one of my favorite moments that I've caught on this video was actually the time that I brought my dad out here with me. Uh, I don't get to see dad real often. He lives uh, quite a distance away from me. So some of the time that we get to spend with each other is a lot of fun. So when I got to go out here, my hunting buddy, Ted, that you've seen in a good number of my videos, let, let Dad borrow his uh, AT Pro, and I took him out to my favorite ghost town. This video actually produced one of my favorite sound bites out of everything that I've got. Apparently, Dad thinks that he was an expert in less than 45 minutes. We'll see you there at that hole. Here, Dad, say hi. I did it. We got, <laughs> we got some good luck. What was those numbers on that AT Pro? 82. 82. So what number you got there? Looks like you got a Rosie. 1945. No, so, 1946. There we go. So, so Dad, you, that was your first coin to ever dig with a metal detector, wasn't it? I called it. That was a good find. That was, I've become an expert in less than 45 minutes. <laughs> Well, let's see, let's see the rest of your expertise with the rest of this yard. <laughs> this year was literally a year for first. It was my first year on YouTube, and I actually found a lot of coins uh, for the first time in my entire life while I was recording. Kind of a special moment to be able to go back and really see what you've done throughout the year and throughout, uh, hopefully, through the, the next few years of YouTubing. As I look back here, one of my favorite coins that I found was actually a shield nickel. And as I watch, it's kind of funny, I didn't actually realize that it was as old as it, it really was. 
I actually thought that it was going to be a modern nickel. And as in my, in my mind, I was rolling it back just a little bit older and older. I actually didn't realize what it was until my, uh, until my hunting partner out there actually told me what it was. I actually just ended up with the Equinox around Christmas time in 2018, so I was pretty fresh by the time this came out because we, we had a late start due to some really heavy winters out here. I hadn't even found a modern nickel with the Equinox yet when I stumbled across this one. I just popped this one out. I thought I was going to have another shotgun shell. I've been out here for a little while. Let me get her cleaned up a little bit better for you and I'll get back to you. Looks like I ended up with a shield nickel. And I don't know if I can get this to focus on that date or not. You're not going to be able to. The there it is. Yeah, 1869. Now if it gets a little bit more cleaned up at home, I'll get one popped up in the corner of the screen here. Another favorite moment of mine this year was actually when Ryan and I took a trip out to Western Iowa. Uh, I titled this episode The Western Iowa Bucket Lister. Not because it was necessarily my bucket lister, but because I happened to pull one out in front of Ryan. I kind of feel bad about it. Not really, because it was, it was still another first for me as well. So anyway, take a, take a look at this clip and you'll see for yourself. All right, guys, this was a shallow one. I actually didn't live dig it because I didn't quite know what I was gonna find. However, I believe that I just got a sterling thimble. You got my bucket lister. Is that a bucket lister for That's you? That's mine. My number one. Probably this is, years old. I guarantee with the way this is cleaning up that that's sterling. Oh, there's so, no doubt about it. So I, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm going to get it any better than this, but oh yeah, we got ourselves a sterling thimble. Another great moment is when you're wandering around through the trees and you're actually struggling yourself that day. And then you hear a whole bunch of screaming in the bushes from over in the, way off in the distance. You can't even really see where anybody is. You can tell by the excitement that's going on over there that something good has just happened. So we wandered on over that way. And uh, this was one of my favorite ones that I caught on camera. And mostly because it's a lot of fun to watch Ted find some good stuff. He's, a, he's quite a character. We'll see you there. There's a lot of screaming from the bushes over here, so I figured we might as well go take a look. What you got over here? Well, I got a real weak 35 number. 35? But I could barely pick it up, and I dug and dug and dug. I bet that's 12 inches <laughs> down. Can you see it? Holy smokes, yeah, that is a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you mind if I do it? No, go ahead. Let's uh, see what you got here. Look at that. Look at the size of that silver. <laughs> Damn! Good job, Ted. What do we? What do you think? Hard to tell. I don't know. Barber half, maybe. Let's guess a year. All of us. 1894. Oh, I, I think it's a walking, walking liberty. Walking liberty. For 36 or 1918, maybe. 17. 1917. Any mint? It's a year older than the one I had. It's a year older than you. <laughs> Couldn't be <laughs> better. Recording it. A lot of money back. Then. Man, that is, that's got a lot of detail too. There it is. It's an S. Yeah, 17 S. Very nice. There you are. be four million made. Wow, that was a long way down there Wasn't it though? Look how deep that <laughs> is in the ground. Damn, that's a nice one. What does that make my pinpointer? Holy smokes. Full length of pinpointer. I was in there a long way. way. Oh, wait. That was, that was way down there. Yeah. Well, I didn't know for sure if it was a coin. I said, well, you know, it keeps telling me it's a 35. So Nebraska is a great place to be out detecting because there's definitely a lot of history in this area. The one thing that makes things a little bit difficult around here, though, is that the area was not really settled until the 1850s, uh, give or take, and it really didn't become populated until the 1870s or later. So finding some of those earlier coins that some guys out on the East Coast can find seemingly all the time, is uh, it, it's a pretty exciting moment to be able to run across one here. And now I actually found a braided hair scent over here on this side of the river. Nearly unheard of in this area. There's, a, there's been a few people that get them every now and then, but it seems to be a once or twice in a lifetime kind of event. So let's skip on over to there and we'll see you on the next hole. All right, this is absolutely my first large scent. 
So this house was built in 1916 here, but I was finding pieces of an old house. There we go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that to show, but that is 1852. Wow. That is phenomenal. Just a just a neat old place here. It was built in 1916, so I'm assuming that I'm assuming there was an older house here in its place before. So we definitely gotta keep searching to find you at the next hole. All right, as promised, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway to celebrate my first year being done and over with here on YouTube. It has been an amazing journey. I'm actually at uh, 350 subscribers, give or take, at the time that I'm recording this video. So every one of you are highly appreciated. Thank you so much for the support that you've shown me over the last year. So anyway, let's get on to the giveaway here. I have decided that I'm going to give away a Morgan Dollar. So this should be a good one. Uh, now, listen closely. I need to give you some rules. For Number one, uh, you, you have to live in the lower 48 in the U.S. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be shipping this internationally. Um, sorry to uh, all of my viewers across the pond. You're definitely still appreciated. Number two, you must be a public subscriber. If you win, I need to be able to see that you are subscribed to my channel. If you are not uh, if, if you don't show that you are publicly subscribed to me, I am unfortunately able to unable to validate the subscription to my channel. Uh, number three, now listen closely, this is going to be a little bit different. Somewhere in my videos from this year, I talked about Josie. What you must do is you need to go through my channel and figure out which video I mentioned the word Josie. Leave a comment on that video. Let me know that you were there. Now, you cannot use the word Josie, and you may not speak about what Josie is. You must find this, and that is the most important step on here. Number four, come back here to this video and comment on me. Let me know what you thought about my videos as a whole for this year, and I will make sure to get in there and check on it. So anyway, this one is a 1921 Morgan Dollar. It is definitely genuine, nothing fake about this coin. Absolutely very, very beautiful coin. In my opinion, one of the most beautiful coins in US history. So, well, let's get to it, and uh, thank you for your support. It was only a couple of videos ago that I actually introduced my new intro, so uh, I'd actually appreciate it if you drop something in the comments about what you think about the new intro. Uh, maybe how I can improve it, or if it's, if it's definitely better than the last one. But one of the video clips that I had to include in there was when Ryan found his first silver half. His excitement was just off the charts and it was so much fun to watch him. Even if it was right in front of me, I hadn't even been able to get set up, ready to go. He actually had called me and said, hey, I'm going out to this really neat area. There's a demolished mansion. Let's go check this out. I was barely getting my equipment out of the truck when he rolled across this one. I didn't even get my equipment on. I haven't even done an intro with you yet. Ryan's already got it. Well, guys, if you have been following silver the half. channel, you will know I have never found a silver half until now. What do you got? That is a Ben Franklin. I can already see the date. 54. I know these have no value, so I'm just going to rub it. You might as well just call this a bigger Washington or Rosie, you're, but... You're shaking a little bit, buddy. I am shaking very hard. Cause I just had a Ben Franklin half dollar D mint mark on that one. Oh my God! I get it. Fifty four D. This happened. Are you a little, you a little freaking out on me right now? I am a bit. I've been going at this hobby for two years, and I've never found a silver hat. <laughs> now you have. That is right. I have. <laughs> Beautiful man. I knew it Beautiful. from the signal. Night. If you really want to know, ninety one, ninety two on the AT Pro. So another great moment from this year was actually when I found another coin that is relatively rare to find in general. Uh, many detectorists are extremely happy to finally find this coin. I actually found it in a newer, uh, newer being much newer than the coin, housing division out here in Omaha. It kind of came as a surprise. I actually had been digging wheats all day and I was thinking that it was going to be another wheat. But lo and behold, it definitely was not. So let's cut to that clip and I'll show you what we got there. Uh, by the way, note Ryan's excitement here. That was probably my, sef my second favorite part of that video. We'll see you there. That's, you're gonna call me crazy, but this, uh, the first thing I th think when I see that, that is just a two like cent a, piece. Dude, it might be a shield. That's a two cent piece. 
Is that a two center? <gasps> it, it. Oh my God, is it? I don't know. Is it really? Oh my God, I think you did it. I you think did. I, I did. It's a two cent oh piece. Oh my God. Holy <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh my God. Woo. Oh my God. Oh my I have God. got it. It is an 1867 oh two cent piece. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes. <laughs> For the record, they sound like a wheat penny. I figured they would. So, all right, let's, oh, let's see on the next hole. Oh to add to another part of my first year on YouTube, one of my favorite first that I was able to catch on camera was actually my own son. He was able to find a silver dime and the excitement on his face and the enthusiasm that he was showing despite his chattering teeth is really what makes this video clip worth watching. So in it, if you're watching my intro again, he's actually in there as well. I couldn't help but not put that video in there. He is so excited that it was definitely one of my favorite parts of this season. We'll see you there. But I have a really excited kid. He was saying, I want, you know what, I think we ought to go home. And I said, you know what, Ryan, I think we ought to go ahead and go ahead and take one more pass at this. And I see silver. Oh, there we go. It's very, very worn. It is a, it is a mercury dime. 1928D, it looks like. Is that so, 1928D. Good gracious, Ryan. Look how worn that thing is. Well, you got a silver dime. Hey, hey why are your teeth chattering so much? It's cold. <laughs> hey, buddy, I'm so proud of you. Hold that thing up and smile. Yeah, look at that. I'm proud of you, kid. Good job. The absolute pinnacle of this season for me was uh, probably my most valuable find. I was actually able to find a 1942D double die quarter. Now, I didn't realize it at the time because the coin is so worn. However, when you look back through the PCGS website, they give you the survival rate of these coins and they actually estimate there is less than 500 of these that still exist. What an incredible find. And to really make it just that much better, there was other stuff in the hole with it. Let me, uh, let me take you back over there and we'll, we'll show you back over at the Silver House. All right, let's see out there at the hole. Here's a first for me. I got a Denver War Nickel. Well, I, I think I might have another signal in this hole, so I'm gonna keep going. Here we go. Sec same hole, I do believe. Got a silver dime here. Oh, it looks like a rosy. 47. All right. There's more signals in here, see you in a second. Here we go, we are on fire. We got a Washington quarter. Got a 42. Holy smokes, I'm excited. All right. Well, I uh, this was my hole right there where I where I found all my good stuff before. But apparently I was too dumb to check you know, another foot from the hole. I just came back, I was lucky I did. Thank you so much for making it through this video with me here. This has been an absolutely phenomenal year. It has been a lot of lessons to start to be able to make these videos looking decent and for me to actually be somewhat proud of them being out there. So I'm hoping that I can continue to con uh, make better videos for you here in the future. Thank you so much to everybody that likes, comments, subscribes, give me, some, uh, give me some watch minutes on these videos. It really helps provide the motivation for me to keep going on through these throughout the rest of the year. I am hoping the 2020 is going to be just that much better of a year. So I suppose as we wrap up this video, I'll show you the uh, quick clip of all of my finds. And I suppose that when I get the next video out to you, I will see you on the next hole. Have a great year.